So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this. I could cry. So we're starting reactions for season two of Interview with the Vampire, okay? I watched season one in my own time. I watched season one around the time it came out. I fell so in love with this show. I, I don't even think I can articulate it to you, right? Now this is coming from somebody who had never read the books. I had seen the film years back never really had much love for it was like all right like that was okay i guess it had a good soundtrack that was my takeaway didn't care for the story did not connect with it overall i saw the trailer for this season one uh my mother actually watched it before me and was on my ass about watching it she was like have you watched it yet have you watched it yet you gotta watch it you're gonna watch it when you're watching it so i was like okay i'll watch it just to get you off my back woman and then i did and by the church scene <sighs> by the church scene at the end of episode one it had me it gripped my soul and sunk its teeth in i genuinely think season one is one of my most watched seasons of television of all time which is crazy because it's only been out like two years not even the costuming the acting the dialogue the writing the visuals it is one of the most strikingly beautiful shows in every aspect, no matter what way you look at it. It made me go back and read the books. I read the books. I'm, I just finished Queen of the Damned. Uh, I'm making my way through them. I'm enjoying the books. I'm not enjoying the books as much as I'm enjoying the show. I'm just not. There's something about this show. They, they, they put some kind of magic in it, okay? Jacob Anderson is one of the best actors of our time. Fight with a wall. Don't give a shit what you say. I think he is impeccable. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I might actually cry. I know there's a lot of um, Interview the Vampire fans that have welcomed this with open arms, which is lovely. If you're not one of them and you hate the show, this really is not going to be a place for you. So I love this show so very much. My expectations for this are so high, given how, in my opinion, flawless season one was. Oh. As always with these style of reaction videos, the more extended version is going to be going up over on Patreon. So if you want to come watch the extended version, that's going up over there. The link will be in the description. Bunch of other videos going on over there. Uh, I'm doing reactions for Angel, The X-Files, X-Men 97. There's film reactions. Handmaid's Tale, True Blood, loads of stuff. Twitter, Instagram, anywhere else you can find me is also in the description down below. I'm so excited to be starting this. Oh my God, I woke up this morning and it felt like fucking Christmas. I know I was singing Jacob Anderson's praise because he is incredible. But Sam Reed is great too. Oh my god. They, they, they. <laughs> I'm going to have a sup of coke because I need to relax. Actually, we'll pause before we start. <laughs> I'm probably annoying the hell out of you, I'm aware. If you're new here, I'm a talkative little bitch, so get used to it. It's just this show though. Because I watched um, Mayfair Witches and was like... Okay. I don't actually think I finished that. There's just something about Louis and Lestat and their story and how it's portrayed and the acting and... Ah! You don't need to give me a previously on. I've watched this so many times and it's done well. Rashid, you always work for him. We're having access to very precious... That's items. fucking Armand levitating up in the corner. Look at him. Claudia also was just incredibly handled in season one, I think. Aging her up was a smart decision. The vampires of their Stop, that scene hurts my fucking stomach. I'd like you to meet the vampire Armand, the love of my life. Oh, I love Louis so much. I, I would bitch slap anyone to death for him. I just love him. If you say anything bad about him, you, <clears throat> what can the damned really say to the damned? I guess I'm going to have to find out what the damned is saying to the damned because my dog is crying. What's wrong with you, baby? It's all right, I've checked on her and I think she's have, she was just having a nightmare. The role of Claudia will now be played by Delaney Hayes, or Hay Hayley's? Yeah, I saw that the Claudia got recasted. Interested to see what Delaney brings. She writes here, I do not dream. At least that's what she said to me once when I was talking about one of my dreams. The fuck off! Which were erratic. Don't distract me. Yeah. My boy, my Oh, I love him. That's interesting. Claudia having a rebirth scene like that, coming out the ground. Nice moment for her character because she's been recast. Oh, dinner! What will this fucker's last words be? Never dreaming. Would you look forward to sleep? Yeah. I have really vivid nightmares and night terrors, and sometimes I sleepwalk. Oh, hello, Armand! Louis' interview, Mr. Malloy. You're at the table. 
I'm in our dining room. She had stored us away in ships, trains, and wagons. She'd asked the desperate farmers and Russian soldiers to teach her their languages. Claudia, our little killing machine. Died. Little boss bitch. Castle Getting us all the way to where we are. Who we? Did he say something? He said I'm cold. I'm sleeping in a hole every night. My baby's cold. Oh, it starts skinning you? things to make him some jackets. Make him a big old troll for his hole in the ground. It's dead. Really? What a fantastic geologist you are, Louis. Don't pry up his bones, Louis de Point de Lac. Dead weight. That must be incredibly painful for him to read, but at the same time you're reading someone's diary. You open them I want pages. To thank you. Whatever you read is on you, baby. For the memories you helped restore the other night. Where did they send you when Shah Rukh Khan over here was playing you? Unworthy in San Francisco, unworthy in Dubai. Disregard. Oh, that was bitchy. What happened to San Francisco? Ah, oh, God, he. Th they met and he interviewed him, and then Armand had to save Daniel's ass, wasn't it? I'm still new to this fandom, okay? I may have obsessed over season one, but like the finer details get lost in in my in my in my obsession with Louis and Lestat. Even though I do love Lestat, what an evil little bastard! What a complex little person! I do love Lestat, which is problematic to say, but I mean as a character, he's so delightfully. He's not even like three dimensional. He's like five dimensional. I'm probably gonna like pop a blood vessel when Lestat decides to resurface. I'm so excited to see that little blonde haired bitch again. Oh, oh my god, is that him? Are you fucking me right now? It's him! Still missing each other. This Claudia! Isn't, this isn't real, is he like torturing him mentally? You're not here, I'm just fucking the head. He's torturing him. You ruined it with remorse. It was a perfect betrayal, it was kind of sexy. Stabbed me a little bit, it was passionate. But in answer to your question, yes. I'm gonna bloody kill you. I'm merely waiting until you're happy. Oh! I've taken 7,000 souls by then. We gotta pause it there, okay? Because why are you doing this to me? I know why you're doing this to me, because the end of last season was so fucking complicated. And oh my god, the abuse. Oh, their relationship is just one to be like studied and dissected, particularly TV show Louis and Lestat. There's so much that can be said and, 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 and do dove into. Oh, but that is so Lestat. I'm just waiting until you're happy. That's so evilly, delectably bitchy. It's kind of given like the empty with Castiel. If you watch Supernatural, you know what I mean. That they were waiting until he experienced a moment of true happiness before they came and like rocked his shit. This is what this feels like too. Like, unhand my boy, poor Louis, tormented. I want to crawl through the screen and like poke Lestat in the fucking eyes. Get away from my man, okay? That's interesting though, the dream sequence. Very interesting way of doing it to show you how he's really haunted by him, tortured by him. But it kind of makes me wonder how much of this is real and how much of this is not real because we saw the stat was able to like slow down time and stop time in season one and he was able to bring Louis into the bubble with him, into the fold with him. So they, so they could exist in their own little area outside of space and time. And that like kind of like, it makes me wonder yeah, how much of this is Louis and how much is happening? By being a silly little bitch and none of this is happening and it's just Louis. It's just a way of showing how Riddled his remorse and guilt, I thought. Oh, I love him. Claudia, for fuck's sake, will you please talk to him? He's so twisted in the head, he's seen dead Lestat. Sucking on his neck. What are we doing with these coffins? I'd be careful opening them up. Somebody could just pop goes the weasel straight out of there. Why are they shooting up coffins? Just like in the books, they think garlic protects Your them. Books. They think we hate Jesus. My mama, TV deal. She told them. This is my father, Robert. We're tired. He's a place to he is not look old enough to be your daddy. Got things to thank you. Story we're going with here. Come on, we brought vodka and cigarettes. What would you want? That would impress me. I'd be like, hey, you could bunk with me. Used to seeing men with good looks. And uh, something going on out in the woods. Bombs and ground. All the more correspondent, Daily Herald. They've forgotten in here. Why are they shooting up graves outside? This is my daughter, Mary. I like her, she's different. That's wrong. 
She didn't say that in front of Claudia. Amelia, she would not have said that in front of Claudia. We should get every detail right. Total agreement. Daniel, this honey, I don't think you know what you've gotten yourself into with this. He's going to want to go back to his whole life story with Daniel to make sure every moment is incredibly precise. I'm pretty good at my job. A bright young reporter with a point of view. They tell jokes. They're charming. And then at some crisis point, when I get close, it drops away. But he wanted to be close to it, right, Real Rashid? I mean, hey. Real Rashid is cool name. Or squared. I'm, I'm hey, vampires are real. Here's almost all the story. Thank you, Rashid. Poor Rashid looks That's why I'm stressed. coming after you, real Rashid. <laughs> you like can fucking break. He looks stressed out of his fucking mind. Daniel, stop. You are scary. Oh, there is something out here. Outside of Claudia. Oh, and it is strong. Okay, not the most social, but we did live with Lestat for a very long time. We know how to handle an antisocial vampire. Ah, you. I read it was taken by a glass plate camera printed on aluminium paper that makes this 30 years old, which would make her 60. Maybe he's thinking for older women. You don't know him. Cutting you off and taking your woman. Never mess with a magical fuck. You really want to marry him? He's got the big one down the pants. He could have a third leg down that pants. If Louis de Pointe de Lac was dancing with me, I'm so sorry. I don't think I would have the strength in me to be like, I'm taken. What's this big grayish thing? And it had fangs. What else would it be? A snake, a baboon. Baboon. Very strange looking baboon's fucking baboon fangs. snake, I must say. And then what? Who made the one who made you? I mean, what are we looking for here? Adam and Eve or the damn? The ones who must be kept. I think that's who we're looking for. Memories just keep bubbling up. That's why I compartmentalize everything, and avoidance is my best friend. That's not healthy. I don't give a fuck. I live in oblivion. And I'm happy. She was dreaming, so she was lying. She was having a nightmare. She was dreaming. I can feel her next pieces coming back. Objects. Sort of thing you wanted. But it wasn't true. She could dream. I want this to remember. He is one of the best actors I have ever seen. He... There's something about when he talks. He, his face, he's so expressive. He's... I forget that he's acting. He's one of the few actors that I could just watch do anything because he's not... He's not... Uh, to me, it's like he's not playing make-believe. He's not acting. It's so real. I am speechless. Give him a fucking Emmy. Give him an Emmy. And I've been saying it since season one came out. This show is criminally underrated, under-talked about, under-discovered, under-appreciated. <sighs> Mention of Wallace just brings up the stats backstory to me. Death and how to avoid it. I'd have to help. No I'd ah, oh, Louis. I'd have to help, Louis. Singing a spooky fucking song and then disappearing up into the tree. That's very the start of her. It looks like Tom Cruise at the end of Interview with the Vampire the film. Look at him. Didn't that look like decrepit Lestat? Vampire, I think it's right, that's fucking catfish with teeth. It's dirty. It's a he, it's like oh I can God. fucking hear you I call me a dirty catfish. You oh. get your filthy creature from the blue lagoon hands off of him. Twist and pull, Claudia. Twist and pull. That's what you guess. You fucking touch Lou, you're gonna be de eyeballed. <laughs> Well, teach your child not to be attacking people out in the fucking woods. Or to maybe use their words. She's gonna have to kill it. Somebody might be in the running with Lestat for uh, worst parent of the year. True smell or hearing. You could have fucking fed him. I'm not stopping. 
in his Committed this far, you DI'd the last vampire you met. Slash the one before that's throat, you might as well follow the scary lady into the cabin in the woods. The blood is sad here, basically. They're catching second hand depression from the humans. She too was a Viconoi. Don't think so. Oh? Was someone like to avoid? Claudia. Ain't that exactly what happened to Stat when the stat got turned? Didn't no, Lestat's make her turn him and then jump on a fire? What the fuck is with vampires and oh. fires? Can I see the pages we removed? We made an agreement. He's, ask, blurred, he's asking to see them. I sit across from him and reckon with the knowledge I don't know what other misrememberings made in him. He wants you in pieces for the privilege of putting them back together as he sees fit. It's his job. It's his drug. He's, he's digging him. really deep into Louis though and mm. he's bringing things to the surface that Louis wasn't even aware of. I think this is good for Louis. It's like therapy. The boy we met in San Francisco. The one who fumbled over his tape recording device who barely understood the meaning of the story he was being told. He's still in there. So we can have him saying what happened next in no time and do it together. Like everything we've done for the past 70 years. You want to fuck with Daniel? Look at this poor unsuspecting bastard. Oh, they're so sexy. It makes me fucking angry. Definition of it couple. Their suits probably cost more than my whole fucking life. Hard words and soft words. Our life is shit. It's been shit. A shit life beats no life. As long as you walk the earth, I'll never taste the fire. You understand me? We're gonna fight. Others like us can't be the only good ones out there. Soft words. If you were the last vampire on earth, it would be enough. Oh, I knew his soft words were gonna fuck me up when I was already crying at his hard words. Oh, interesting. So is that supposed to be who was he saying it to? Was he saying it to Claudia or to Lestat in his mind? You know what I mean? You and me. His dad is just there like, okay, this is fucking awkward, you slip my throat, you leave me for dead, and then you go traveling the world. <laughs> oh god, I love him so much. Oh, Jacob is an absolute powerhouse. He is an absolute powerhouse of an actor. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, and Christ on a bike, and everyone in between. Oh, where are we? Or is this Pillar Central? Paris? Was that the Eiffel Tower in the background? I actually cannot get over that episode oh, it was everything that I wanted it to be and I'm crying and I knew I would because I've waited so long for this season I just love the show it just resonates with my soul with my very being the uh, and like the funny thing is I, I bounced back and forth so many times between who was who who I really loved as a character I love Claudia as a character but I, I feel like I really resonated with Louis and Lestat and I kind of bounced back and forth but until my my most recent rewatching of the show where I was like I think I just resonate so strongly with Louis um, genuinely, I just think Jacob is one of the best actors that I have seen in so long. And how is this show not more talked about? How is this show not out there breaking records and smashing things? And like, <sighs> I'm going to be screaming it from the rooftops all for this season. So you're going to be real fucking sick of me because I'm going to be on this channel every goddamn week, crying my heart out and clawing my face up over how much I love it. I'm not ready for the stats return. I'm not ready for the stats return. When he comes back, I'm going to be broken because I... I think that's why I like Louis so much because I can relate to him. So I feel like Lestat will be able to come in and as much as I can argue against him and I do and point out the wrong that he's done and I can, I feel like he'd be able to charm me back the way he probably is going to with Louis for a, for a spell um, or the way he might be able to with Louis. So it kind of scares me the idea of Lestat coming back because I'm like... This is impeccable. Sorry, darling. I also got to talk to Alan Taylor. I interviewed Alan Taylor, um, who produced season one and directed episode one and two of season one, which are two of my favorite episodes in television history ever, ever. So if you want to watch that, go back. There's a, it's a few if it's a few videos back on my channel. Sorry, I get to interview cast and crew from TV shows. Um, and getting to talk to Alan was an absolute dream. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching along. I hope you guys don't think I'm, like, <laughs> weird. Because I, I, there's something about this show. The Walking Dead is, like, it's my bread and butter here on this channel. 
it's it's the main content that I make. It's the majority of the content that I put out. The Walking Dead reactions, the spin-off reactions. Because I love it, you know what I mean? But there's something about Interview with the Vampire that hits me different. And I love a lot of shows and I enjoy a lot of TV. But there's something about the show that makes my soul giggle. It was one of the first times I really felt seen by a character. And I think they do a very good job of that. I'm just talking and I need to shut the fuck up and like lie down. But like it, it, it does a very good job of putting so many different facets of like the human experience and the human being into all these different characters that you can see yourself reflected in so many different characters at so many different times throughout the show. Oh, good God. There's a spider on my ring light. It's editing me, jumping in after editing that video and napping and thinking about the episode. Isn't it very interesting how Louis and Armand in front of Daniel are sitting side by side. They have their arms around each other. But when they're alone in bed, there's this huge disconnect between them. They're so far apart. They don't even kiss each other goodnight, I don't think. That uh, public facing persona versus what they're like behind private doors. I just think that's fascinating. Anyway, that is it for this reaction, you guys. Thank you so much. Like I said at the beginning, the link to the more extended version is on in the description down below. It's going up on Patreon. It's going to. It's probably going to be damn near unedited. That reaction is probably going to be close to an hour long, give or take. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you will tune in next week to watch along with me. Thank you so much for watching. Twitter, Instagram, anywhere you can find me is also down in the description. I will talk to you soon. <laughs>